Check, check, one, two. Okay. Where did I put my plug? Oh, here it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab a tea real quick and then we'll get started. Uh, I'm super excited for this. I know that normally it's deep rock, but... I didn't really have a good time to put uh, episode I guess into the normal stream and I didn't want to add another day. So yeah, that's where we're at. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get a tea. My husband turn with my hat getting captivated. Okay. It is time to lunch. The baby, baby, baby game. I play the answer. It's not picking it up. Oh, that's why. Hold on. <laughs> Oops. Boop. Okay, there we go. It's so weird revisiting a game that you've already like stopped playing because you've finished pretty much everything. Why is everything like super choppy? What if I do this? Nope. Let's try quitting the game real quick and reloading it. Reloading it. Oh, I'm so funny. I'm gonna leave performance monitor open so I can see what's making the game chug like nobody's business. Also, the game said that it was able to run at uh, 120 frames per second, which is pretty cool. But something's limiting it to 60. Okay. It looks like we're good. I'm just gonna minimize the resource window real quick and let's get started. Oh. Change episode! That's pretty.
first is blue. Was that Orpheum? I've got so many questions now. Like, who is that other person? Why was the team fighting each other? Why is there a giant clock on the floor? Yeah, who's been from the front? Uh, what if I try to oh, I can't find it. Oh, I can carry on the same data. Okay, we're totally doing that. You have to put it in a lock and then turn it. Oh, what do I know? Before everything changed. March 31st, 2010, 1.30 p.m. Hello? Hey, Yukari-chan? It's me. Um, are you coming today? Didn't you see the message I left on the board? I have cram school today. That sucks. I know, but... I already left my stuff at the dorm. There's no need for me to be there in person, right? I suppose not, but are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, sorry, break's almost over. I gotta go. Tell everyone I said hi, okay? Okay. Yukari 
Chan's not coming after all. The soundtracks. Okay, that little string in the middle sounds off tune. Oh, it's kind of a groove now. I like the soundtrack a little bit. The beginning was a little bit weird though. Sonata-san said he'd be training at the gym, so I don't think he's coming either. Man, what is up with those two? Like, listen to this part. What is that off, that like, twanging off tune, like, sound? This is the last day we have before the dorm closes down. With all our memories of this place, you'd think they want to see it off together, you know? Eh, yeah. It is what it is. Everyone deals with things in their own way. At least Pupper's here. It's up to each of us to choose our own path from here. We can't deny them that. Yeah. I guess you're right. Besides, we can hardly blame them. Things have only been getting busier. If I didn't have to reclaim these, I may not have made it here myself. Guess it's finally time to say goodbye to our evokers. And hello to other evokers. Kind of bums me out, but it's not like we got a use for them anymore. Let's see, two, four. Oh wait, how many are there supposed to be? So there's supposed to be one for Fuka, one for Ken, one for Chintai, one for Mitsuru. The last two should be Kari and Akihiko. And then there's a protagonist, which is missing. And then there's Kuramaru's. I'm not missing anyone, am I? Shinji also had one, but I think they already got rid of his. Sadly. And... I think that checks off everyone. This is all of them. Is it? That's seven. Protagonist. So one, two, three, four here. Kuramaru's. That's five. Six will be Akihiko, seven will be... Yeah, so there's still one missing, but I'm pretty sure that's just Shinji's. Huh? You had one too, I guess, son? That's right. You had his for safekeeping. So, uh, what did happen? <sighs> hey, come on. Let's not get all down in the dumps about it. I don't think he would have wanted to see us like this. Sorry, but you're right. We've already said our goodbyes. I'm getting the feeling that protagonist already passed away on the rooftop when we last played the game. Why does Fuka look so intense? Look at her. She looks like she's like staring at the evokers with murderous intent. It's just I can't help wondering why? There didn't seem to be anything wrong with him. It just looked like he fell asleep. Didn't it? He must have used up the rest of his power to protect us at the final battle. I don't think it's worth speculating on the reasons. The one thing I feel certain of is that he wouldn't have blamed any of us for what happened. Yeah, that Chan's got that right, you know? I'm glad to see you're still hanging in there, Atlas. You really seem like you cared about him more than anything in the world. I'm somewhat surprised as well. Like protecting him or something, something. What's your mission? It's possible I won't feel the full impact until I'm settled back in at the lab tomorrow. Huh? In the lab? Are you planning on commuting from there next semester? 
Oh, no, I... I guess it's returning to the lab for good. She won't be enrolling as a third year. Oh, no! Oh, seriously? Why? It's been fine this whole time, hasn't it? The decision was mine. I'm sorry I didn't mention it sooner. I enjoy being with you all. But it's time for me to find my own way of life. That's respectable. Oh, but don't worry. You can come visit me whenever you wish. I guess. Think of it as a new beginning for her. Anyway, we seem to have gotten off track, but I didn't mean for this to be a sabotation. It's almost like it's uh, episode, I guess. Her beginning. But I'm just... I've ordered top quality sushi for us all. The same as last time, actually. We may not have the full team with us. But let's have a nice dinner here tonight. Oh, that would be great. Top quality? I mean, uh, no objections here. <laughs> You'll join in too, right, Igis? Of course. I won't miss this chance to spend more time with you all. Daytime! Evening! The number of apathy syndrome cases is down from last month, which seems to mark an end to this strange illness. And now I want to read a new broadcast about everyone eating sushi. Top quality. You get to keep the box. Put your sewing supplies in it. You know, all that fun stuff. In spite of this, surveys have shown that the public's everyday stress levels remain high, according to an investigation by the Ministry of Health and Welfare. Wow, when did it get so late? It's almost midnight. It's hard to believe we passed the evening so quickly, even without doing anything in particular. It's almost midnight, you say? I suppose it's because sitting here with you all brings me back to the time we spent together. I think I know what you mean. I have so many memories of this lounge that I find myself wanting to come back to it. It's the same for me. When I'm here, I can't help but reminisce on those days. And it's funny since, well, the things that happened back then weren't exactly pleasant. But they weren't exactly also bad either. It's kind of like... You had your moments, your ups and your downs. You had your roller coaster of emotions and all that stuff. Well, I get you on the past and all, but isn't there something still off about the present? I feel like everywhere I go, I see people goofing around like nothing else matters. It's like Strega's dumb ideas never got out of their heads, you know? I mean, is that the kind of world we almost died to protect? Wow, you've really grown up, Junpei-san. Yeah, that was kind of deep, actually. I don't need to hear that from you. It's out of our hands, I'm afraid. We may have prevented the fall, but there's only so much we can do to reform society. Ah, uh, so what's up with uh, Junpei's legs? It kind of looks like on one hand he has ripped jeans. On the other hand, it looks like uh, maybe light refraction. But it also kind of looks like there's like sand on his legs. And he just never got it off. Yeah, I guess. But still. And that's all for the weather. At the tone, the time will be 12 a.m. Midnight! Oh, that was spoopy. What was that? I guess the sand got off Jim Pei's legs, at least. Wait at midnight. No way! Is it the dark hour again? If it was the dark hour, Fuka, that light would not be on right now. Nah, everything's fine out there. I have never seen that portrait before. They've added some new ones for this uh, this part of the game. I like that. Wait, the news. Good evening. It is now March thirty first. Here are the latest news reports. Huh? The 31st just ended, didn't it? Okay, if this is like a Groundhog Day thing, then 
Oh, why would it be evening? What did it be like? Midnight? Right, as the 31st starts? Did the anthem misread the date? Jeez, man. Is that all it was? Also, isn't, like, how would it be evening, but it's midnight? Would that be nighttime? Like, I don't know what? Well, I guess even the news people screw up every once in a while. <laughs> really had me going there for a second. Weird. My phone says it's the 31st, too. So, like, it's got to be a false alarm, yeah? That's a sensible assumption to make for now. But something felt off. It was the sushi you had. Uh, well, it's getting late. We should probably call it a night. I know, we wanted to say goodbye to the dorm with a bang, but not like this. Um, would it be alright if I return to my room? I have preparations to make for the move tomorrow. Oh, of course. Good night, I guess. Good night, I guess. Night. Good night, Takate. I'd best contact Yukari and Akihiko. Just in case. Can I close my eyes? I remember the last moment I spent with him. So when I read that, uh, before she said it, I read it as, I remember the last moment I slept with him, and I'm like, wait, that can't be right. The day he fell asleep, we brought him back to our dorm. Fear beginning to well up within us. And the next morning, our fears became reality. He was lost to us. For some time after that, I fell into depression and began having the same dream night after night. A dream where I run after him, calling his name. I can never catch up. When he was alive, I promised to protect him. And I made that my reason for living. But now, that promise can never be fulfilled. Then, one day, my sadness suddenly left me, as if a mysterious fog had lifted. Hold on. So that might be why she is trying to find a new reason to live. And a new, like... Like, a new thing to... The, the, the reason to be around and doing stuff. Because she can't fulfill this promise, so she needs, like, a new, I guess, like, thing to focus on. I stopped dreaming, and I now no longer require sleep. She required three stars. It's no use. I can't sleep. Have you tried turning yourself off and on again? I like her room. Can I really continue living like this? I like how she has like a bunch of uniforms at the school and then you just see boxes of like ammunition just opened. Oh. Is it possible to like make the thing go away? Like the text box because I want to kind of like look at the background a little bit. Butterfly? 5.7 millimeters. Huh? What's going on? I like how it says arm gun, mag, uh, X8, 5.7 millimeter, anti shadow. On uh, the boxes of ammo. 60 cartridges. Hey, are you awake? Uh, yes. The door is open. She should get rid of those casings on the floor. I guess. Come quick! We need you! Has something happened? Are we under attack? It's hard to describe. The lobby floor suddenly opened up and... Anyway, we need to hurry to the lounge. That is hard to describe. Understood. Come to think of it, that day I stopped dreaming. That must have been when all this actually began. going on are you okay oh that looks very uh that looks very uh 
that painful. Be careful, Igus. Whatever it is, it's not human. Who did? Robot? She looks like a robot. A shadow? No, you're impossible. You're just like me? I guess 2.0. You're I guess. Who are you? Why are you doing this? I'm Metis. I've come to protect you. Hi Metis. You don't have any protection. I've got Wait, who is the persona? Arda Macia? No, wait, that's so uh I forget who um I guess his persona is, but I got one and I'm immune to physical, so we're we're all good. Protect me. These people pose a threat to you. Therefore, I will eliminate them. They do not! What are you saying? It won't let you hurt them. Then I have no choice. I can't let you interfere. It's for your own good. Combat sequence? Combat sequence! So we get to play as I guess now. That's cool. Like I'm able to summon my persona? Than I thought. It's not the dark hour. So it's come to this. <gasps> Is that Thirgy? Must be eliminated. Can we not beat up the grade schooler? now. Combat robot, weak to sound. She's weak, weak to the thick face.
Protect ever. Awakening to a new power. I exist persona Athena. Has metamor that uh, metamorphosed into Orpheus. Now we're back with Igor. To the velvet room. Hi, Igor. Hi, Elizabeth. Ah, it appears we have a very rare guest indeed. It's a robot. Or merely humanoid. I prefer the term cyborg, but I don't know about you. <laughs> it seems your destiny is similar to mine. I don't know, you look like you're destined to eventually pick up Rogaine or go bald. Where... where am I? Who are you? Oh, forgive my manners. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Igor, and this is my assistant Elizabeth. Hello, Lizard Breath. Hello, strange face man called Igor. We both reside here in the Velvet Room. Please, to meet you. Don't you think of it? Lizards don't have breath, do they? Like, I know that they breathe and stuff, but... Probably just smells like air. This place exists between mine and battle. It is a room for those who have forged a contract. Yes. In awakening to the power of the wild card, you bound to a contract. I don't have to sign it first. Henceforth, you shall be our guest in the Velvet Room. Holy, welcome to the Velvet Room. Wild card? And the wild card. You play it if, uh, you, you play that in a deck of cards when, when you don't have the Joker or an Ace. Or any of those, you know. Surely you know that of which I speak. The ability to wield multiple personas and their powers. Until recently, a young man with the same talent was our guest here. It was me! Are you saying that you knew him? Indeed, I did. He achieved a marvelous thing. Finding the answer to life. I'm good. How are you doing? The answer to life. We're just finding the answer to life uh, today. The power you have gained is a means to attain that answer. If I were to find this answer, would it mean my death? Oh. All who live journey in search of the answer, and they find it at the journey's end. If you have close ties to people you call friends, Remember this. Strength of heart, when united, is barred by no door. Remember, you can open all the doors and go through them if you have a strong heart. It was the same for that young man. And that is all I can tell you. <sighs> well then, I mustn't hold you here any longer. It would appear that an ordeal ah! is about to unfold upon your return. <laughs> Hello there, Waluigi. That feeling again. Papa. I am certain you will require our help in the future. Please take this. I got the velvet key. Until then, farewell. Goodbye, Igor. He's made a choice to live. So much has changed since then, yourself included. 
Is this new power a sign that I'm drawing closer to love? Does it mean that the answer at the end of the journey is death? I was surprised at the time to discover how little the possibility bothered me. But you're a robot. You can just reinstall Windows and be okay. Corey Linux. <laughs> Hold up. Why am I decked out in, like, combat gear? To the teeth. You really scared us passing out like that. You call me son. If Zuru Senpai asked me to come just in case, then I'd get caught up in something like this. Oh yeah, you fairies Seriously. here now. Wait, where's 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 I'm Aki? Sorry for worrying you. Hmm? What's all this? While I was fixing your body, I added some additional equipment. And we found some strange things under the floor. There was no sign that you would wake up, so instead of waiting, we tried everything we could. I see. It still sucks, though, getting bossed around by him like that. That girl told us, if you want to protect Igis, you should put that on her. Hey, Tesla coils on the back. Hey, sounds like you've had a rough time. Or, uh, there's Aki. Or, um, what do they call those? You know those instruments that you like, you, you put, you grab like two ends of it with your hands and then you like squeeze them together and then you pull them apart and they make like this funny sound. I forget what it's called. But you like squeeze them in and pull them apart and they make sounds. That looks like what's on her back. No worries here though. She's on her best behavior now. That's probably because you tied her down. I think she's asleep. I guess she wasn't lying after all. Anyway, if she can't cause any trouble now, we have our evokers this time. I see that. Oh, man, why do you gotta bust things up like that? It's my turn to clean the place today. How about you quit it with a silent treatment and say something? As I thought. Mm. Huh? I called that. Are you serious? You were sleeping all this time? Oh. Uh, I... You're looking pretty comfy there. Guess you don't think of us humans as much of a threat, huh? It's just... I was tired after going into orgia mode, so... The same thing I guess has. Did you cooperate with them in order to help me? The reason I came here in the first place was to protect you. You don't need to restrain me. I won't attack anyone anymore. Why the sudden change of heart? You can't expect us to trust you without an explanation. Choo-choo! Well, it's... It's because I thought you wouldn't like me if I did. Huh? Let's release her. I don't know if she can be trusted, but I believe she has no intention of attacking us any further. Besides, if she's really like me, then the restraints won't hold her anyway. And there's a proof. Seriously? And all those freaking non-stop shits were for nothing? How long was it? Tell us who you are, and your purpose in being here. My name is Nevis. As you can see, you and I are essentially sister units. In fact, you are the reason why I'm here. I've come to save you from this hopeless situation. Let us backwards to sit on. As in, stood up, down. Yeah. A hopeless situation? Yeah, what is a hopeless situation? Goodness. 
something happen while I was asleep? Speaking of which, how long was I asleep? Forever. Since our battle ended, I'd say about a day and a half has passed. Yet today is still March 31st. Tomorrow and all the days after it will also be March 31st. At this rate, it will last forever. So it is a Groundhog Day uh, kind of scenario. But it doesn't look like it repeats the day. It looks like it repeats a certain portion of the day. Says the newscaster after a little clicky thing uh, said it was evening. Didn't you feel it? The moment time looped? Ah, yes, the red text. Looped? Do you mean what we felt at midnight? Then, are you saying that the same day is repeating itself? More like the same evening. That's not all. We haven't been able to leave the dorm either. That makes two ways we're trapped here. What? But how could that... Both space and time are being distorted by the abyss of time beneath us. The abyss of time? That sounds abysmal! Anyway! It's difficult to explain. It'd be easier to show you. I'll lead the way. Please, follow me. Okay. Hey! Who made you the boss? She did! I don't know, I think she's kind of cute. Oh yeah, what is this music? What? It looks like a desert. music, bro. I could study this. I could, like, read a book to this music. This is good. I like this. This is the abyss of time. Hold up a second. Hold up a second. Abyss of time. And it's sand. As in, like, the sands of time. Get what they did. It's uncharted territory that I believe spreads underground, much like the roots of a tree. How could something like this have appeared under the lounge? Yeah. At first, the abyss of time was just a small, self-contained space. But then one day, it started growing rapidly and eventually spread to your dorm. It's clear just by looking at it that this place wasn't man-made. I mean, obviously, it was made by Igor. It might be the product of some dangerous power. Just like Tartarus was. Or Tartarus. Sheesh. Haven't we had enough of that kind of stuff already? If I wanted to go back to blowing your persona into... They're plowing that into your enemies. I'm not sure words alone can fully convey what's happening. But the flow of time here is abnormal. That's why time is looping. And why you can't leave the dorm. The only solution is to find a way to somehow eradicate the abyss of time. Eradicate it? How are we supposed to do that? I've already tried the simplest method that has the highest probability of success. Eliminating all of you. Well, that's mean. The abyss of time is linked to this dorm, as if drawn to it. And for some reason, you are the only ones who can perceive the time loop. Clearly, there is a strong connection between all of you and what's happening. So that's why you attacked? To eliminate us? What the hell? We've never even heard of this place before! If there is another way, it can only be found by entering the Abyss of Time. You'll have to discover the cause and strike at its source. So you want us to investigate it under the assumption that we'll have to fight? That's why I insisted on the extra equipment to protect Igus. That's helpful. Hold on. You're joking, right? Are you seriously telling us that we have to risk our lives again like we did with Tartarus? Yes. Never mind that. How are we supposed to just believe whatever you say and jump into that freaking...
think he plays blind? You mean like how you do with you Tartarus? The basement of your dorm is an infinite abyss. Time is looping, and you can't reach the outside world. That's fair. If we can't leave the dorm, how will we eat? We're stuck here long enough till we run out of food. Are we going to starve to death? <laughs> June Pay would be like, that's the worst way to go. If the current situation continues, things could get worse. This is your only option if you want to survive. Naturally, we all want to survive, but you attacked us the minute you saw us. You must understand that we can't simply entrust our lives to you. I'm not even buying your reason for being here. You say you want to protect Igis, but what's in it for you? That's a good question, actually. What's in it for me? I'm doing this because I care about her. Oh, so she's got, like, feelings like Igis. Okay. I mean, she's all I have. About that. Your story doesn't fit the facts. Igis was the last of her series. No other units were produced after her. And on top of that, it bothers me that you talk like you've been in the abyss of time from the start. I thought this was supposed to be uncharted territory that was unconnected to the outside world until recently. W well, that's a good one. Uh, supposed point. to be an anti-shadow weapon anyway. Attacking us humans to save Igis doesn't make sense. That's... I... um... Well, we're waiting. Hope you've got a thing in this head. You better not be thinking you can get away with pulling a fast one on us again. I mean, she can pull a fast yeah, one on YouTube, hey? Okay. What good is knowing any of this anyway? Besides, haven't I already told you that there's no time to waste? Great answer! Now follow me, or are you giving up so soon? Because if you are... You should have just let me kill you in the first place. What did you just say? Fight! Fight! Now, fight! You may have no choice but to enter this place. If you continue to act this way, we'll have to go on without you. Huh? huh? Without me? <laughs> you couldn't possibly... You, you need me. I know the most about the abyss, and and what? As if. What do you know about what we need? We all risk our lives for each other. If you think so little of my friends, then you can't come with us. No. Might suck, but if that's how you're gonna be, then we'll just leave you here by yourself. Uh, well, that hurts. Myself. Oh, I'm not happy with that. If you'd rather be our enemy, then we can settle things right here. How about now? Oh, well, we don't have to go that far. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't be mad at me, I guess. She's specifically uh, apologizing to I guess to no one else. Change your tune now. It's not like we're gonna start trusting you. Still, though, maybe it's true that all she really wants is to protect Igis son. I just noticed she has been kind of flip it flopping between being like, I'm sorry and I want to help you, and I'm just gonna go into the place and follow me if you want to live. Well, Senpai, should we take her with us? Because if this is our only choice, I just want to hurry up and get it over with. Okay, everyone, listen up. It seems that once again, we must engage in both exploration and battle. I've been thinking it over, and I believe Igis should take command. If someone with the power to change personas is in charge, we can proceed the same way as before. And if you, as the leader, approve of it, then I have no objections to Metis accompanying us. Hoggers! Mitsuru-san. <laughs> oh, just 
give her a hug. If you want to protect me, you must fight to protect us all. Whatever happens, you can't hurt my friends. Can you promise me that? Yes, I promise. This better not come back to bite us in the ass. She's like a skid like a giddy schoolgirl being noticed by your senpai. Who who is I guess? Hey, I guess. Since Mitsuru Senpai just mentioned it, what's up with you suddenly having his power? I honestly don't know. I don't know, I just work here. <laughs> We might lose someone else. I got scared. And suddenly. Metis, was it? Do you know anything about this? I just met her. How would I know? Metis? I just met her. Anyway, if you already know someone with that same power, why not just ask them? <sighs> if we're going to end up fighting again. We better make sure we're outfitted properly. Well, as far as the school records are concerned, you and I are technically still Gekokan students. Tamagishi, could I ask you to retrieve the armbands from the command room? Wait, I blanked out for a second. Oh, they're talking about getting their trip back. Of course. Oh, and as for the things we found when the floor opened up, I put them in the command room. So I'll look into them once I have a chance. Maybe I can learn something. All right, let's get back upstairs. Um, I guess... I, I promise to listen to what you say. So, could I call you my sister? Aww. Mm. That's so right cute. Ahead. She's adorable. The abyss of time, a strange and mysterious dimension that has suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Until we find the reason for its presence, we'll be unable to leave the dorm. We must begin looking into the depth, the, uh, the, the in depth at once. Every time I get geared up, my brain gets into this mindset like, time to get it done. <laughs> you know? Where did this song come from? No, actually, I don't know. Let's get on her. I'm just happy I get a match with my sister. We were all pouty the moment we changed clothes. Who would have thought she just wanted an armband? <laughs> this doesn't make you one of us, though. Still, it's a good thing you've got one on. This way, I can get a detailed read on your vitals. When, uh, when Medicine's theurgy gauge is maxed, her theurgy or Kia mode can be used. Once it's activated, she'll automatically attack during the turn for three rounds unprompted. Her attack and defense will increase significantly. Uh, once it's done, she'll overheat, running her- Okay, so it's the same as, uh, Agus's. I had some extras prepared, but I didn't expect we would need them again. Whoops! Well, is everyone ready to start exploring? Are we missing anything? Mm, I don't think so, but I've got a bad feeling about this. Junpei here might not, but what about the rest of you? Yeah, I can't put my finger on it. Something does feel off. I agreed. Something's not sitting quite right. I also just noticed that there's a seven on Igus's armband. And uh, I think that the numbers are the order in which they join the team. But I don't see one on Metis. It just looks like there's a number missing. Huh? I'm the only one hyped? Do you? What is the feeling? Yamagishi, have there been any changes to our readings? Um, well, I don't know how to put this, but they're indicating that everyone's strength has weakened significantly. 
which may prove to be an impediment. But, uh, oh, ain't that, like, really bad for us? Is it because of that abyss of time thing? I don't seem to be affected. Are you sure it's not simply because you're all weak? Yo, Medic just came out and said it's a skill issue with all of you. <laughs> oh, I like her. Oh, we're weak, are we? Save it for later, Akihiko. Yeah, right? So if it's not because of the abyss, does it have something to do with us? We did take a step back from fighting for a while, so that's probably the biggest factor. More importantly, your persona's output is currently unstable, so their abilities are partially limited right now. Maybe we just forgot how to fight? Does muscle memory even go away? No, I don't think it does. What we can do right now is work with what we've got. Oh, no, it's easy for you to say. I guess you're nervous too, aren't you? Oh, I can actually pick stuff now. It doesn't matter. Man, even I chance on Yukatan's side. You have nothing to worry about, sister. I'll be there for you. <laughs> well, now that we've established the situation at hand. Why did Metis look absolutely just shocked that Kuro Mario barked in response? I'd like to set expectations a bit before we head out. I should operate on my own to find out whether or not there's more to those materials we found underground. Flying solo, huh? I guess you are the only one who can identify that sort of thing, huh? It's because she's I'll got the intelligence for it. I learn more. There's something else I want to look into as well, so it's more efficient for the team to progress without me there. <laughs> Your objective is to see if the Abyss of Time connects to anywhere else besides the door. And since we don't know how much time this will take, it's imperative that we secure our supply rooms. Oh, in that case, kind of seems like a job for Koromaru, don't it? I mean, he's sharper than a human. You know, with his sense of smell and all. He says yes! Yeah? You're game, bud? I'm a little worried about us being weaker than usual, though. So, how about I come with you? Why are you talking to him like that? <laughs> That's fine. All right. I'll let the two of you handle that then. Iori, Koromaru, and I will go about our own tasks. Everyone else, follow Igis's command and focus on exploring. So we won't have Junpei, Koromaru, or Mitsuru for a little bit. I'm counting on you, Igis. Leave it to me! That's what I like to hear. And you can count on me to bring back results too. Hey. Once you've decided on our course of action, if we want to make progress, then we better get to it. Click, click, step, step. Let's do this. Oh, I guess that's our running animation. That's cool. Oh, that is awesome. Let's see what we got here. So Metis, we're all level 25, so we already start with a little bit of a, uh, an edge. Let's get... Hold on, what's your theory, theories? We just have one. But they still have their evolved personas. I guess the, uh, second theories were a little bit too OP. Can we check our stats? So we have Orpheus with Agi, Assault Dive, and Dia. And next we get more fire. It looks like I can also uh, hold a lot of personas. So... 
Wait, what the the heavy infiltration outfit? I guess it doesn't change until I get in there. So let's equip the other one real quick. Cross to rod. of stats. Give me all the stuff. Uh, well, I suppose we'll... See if we can find anything else. His room. Something feels strange being here and the door won't open. I wonder why specifically that room is like stuck. Harry's room. My room! I'm guessing that's where we keep all of the freaking turret ammo ammunition. here then not like we have much else to go on it didn't hurt to pursue anything suspicious all right then i'll leave this to you be careful in there let's be careful in here fam squad velvet room let's add akihiko and yukari to the team it's a clock Ptolomia Empyrean Maple Bulge and Tendora Copy this. Isn't it the thing like your tailbone? Judeca. Two, three, 
Four, five, six, seven. Okay. Hi, Kangaroo. I, I think you're stretching. Uh, Hi. Well, time to go into the bulgy door. Oh, I'm so sorry. There's these four stars on the little fine side. Oh, if we don't go through it, then we can't find and do anything with the current situation. So let's go! <laughs> it feels like an ordinary building inside. I'm gonna take a quick look. Shadows, be careful everyone. I'm sensing multiple shadows. Oh, that's cool. My attack to attack the sh oh my god that is cool. So I can go boom boom to uh, ambush the shadows, but if I'm sprinting, boom it becomes an area attack. There's a shadow directly ahead of you. It doesn't seem to notice you yet. Since you're equipped with firearms, you can, I bet you can shoot them from afar. If there's enough distance between you and the shadow, I don't think they'll notice you. How about giving it a try? Wait, what? Hold on. The enemy will notice you if you get too close. Try pulling back and shooting from afar. That's what I'm trying to do! Time for a well, this isn't their music! of mass destruction.
Yeah, this is definitely a different version. This part is largely the same, though. people, uh, Yukari, but you should probably, like, not do it all the time. Did he just say justice is served? trying to get to the next floor. It looks rather sussy. So we got some in the water. And it's some patcher gems. Nice. There's a thing we saw earlier. Proceed with caution. All right, let's get started. on these attacks but it doesn't quite hit as hard as it's going down now oh Ava Capping that for oh, thumbnails. Hmm, there's a chest. Wanna try opening it? No, I wanna try throwing it at you. And then you punch it and then and then it opens. That's how you do that, right? I like the little lights below the pillars, it's kinda cool.
Uh, let's do more XP. Good to know. Are we gonna see her final smash, so to speak? strong enemy back here. Long enough to use third cheese, we'll be fine. 
And you can read pretty close. use some of our skills to heal up. Mocking you for being weak or whatever. I like how we can't even use uh, the rewind feature. Oh, yeah, I was gonna check out the different uniforms. So what is the infiltration outfit? It's just the normal, right? Yeah. What about the heavy infiltration outfit? your chest.
Let's try some fire. Let's not try fire. Imagine every time our helmet opens up at the end there that there's like a little clicking sound. Shifted to from I guess. Oh! So shift to Metis if I can. You seem capable, but I guess that's to be expected from I guess's sister. Of course. Never underestimate that sister. I thought that would go on for a little bit longer. so I can do the big heels if I need to. Actually, not the worst use for it ever. It could be the worst.
what it's like resistances and immunities are probably doesn't have that, so I just wasted the skill card. Oops! I feel a bit uneasy. Another day on the job. This is my resolve. Another day on the job and another day crazy hog. Be 
Finish it off. Stay on your toes here. Look, look, a treasure chest. I see it. Also, why does the meta give me like it's been some time since we've done this, but I'm getting less nervous about it. I can't let myself get too relaxed either, though. I'll stay vigilant. She's giving me kind of like a Marie from Persona 4 Golden Vibes.
since I have it, might as well. After all, it's for heal estate. She's got physical, physical, ice. Boost attack. Take away buffs. And now she's got this. And next she's gonna have half the time to recover from elements. She doesn't have any... Oh. Her psyche is literally called psyche. No resistances or strengths. All right. Who's next? But also no weaknesses. Just like sniping enemies uh, from afar. We can go down. Sniping the little pillars from afar. Oh, there, there I go. I just sense something unusual run by up ahead. I wonder what that was. It seemed to have gone down to the lower floor. Let's go to the Velvet 
Humans try to summon some personas out. Welcome. Magnificent. Yeah, we all know about it. Summon some powerful personas that we have. This is your progress so far. This persona, yes. Please take a look. I can also summon a uh, persona. This one. Interesting. So, does that persona catch your eye? I suspect you can't control this one. So, it shows me all the possible personas I could have from the other game. My initial save. And I can get them, but it's going to be a premium. And then there's the one here, which is the one that I have access to. Please take a look. This persona, yes. This persona, yes. But I can't get anything stronger than what I can currently uh, use. So what I'm hearing is I can summon Big Sneaky Boy if I have more money. This persona, yes. Please take a look. This persona, yes. Please take a look. This persona, yes. You know what? Let's go with Zoro. Please take a look. So you'll be summoning this one? Please take a look. I could get a less powerful Zoro if I wanted to go with uh, this one. But I want to get Please the powerful one. one. Is this acceptable? May it be your inner strength. Please take a look. And then it uh, registers it to this one. Registering personas is over. I've completed registration. Very well. We've. Oi! 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 Sometimes it's funny to just interrupt your guide. Uh, let's swap these two out. I'll have to go down first. everything, but it also full heals everyone. Wait a 
second. Um, I forgot to save. You know, that might be important. Can you imagine if, like, almost an hour and a half of the stream was just like... Or an hour, if we skip the dialogue. It was just like... Gone. Because I forgot to save before a fight. You appear to be much shorter in stature compared to the others. Well, that's just because they're older than me. I'm not short for my age. Your age? I comprehend. <gasps> Let's fight it! The kid's young. Multiple shadows ahead. It looks like they've been waiting for us. I don't know if Venice comprehends the concept of age. Uh, until now. And that strange presence is there too. The same one from before. <gasps> it's gone? I don't sense it anymore. He's just practicing track like he used to back when he was alive. I guess this is their, uh, everyone's time to pop off. from that enemy. That is bad. And I think Zoro is also weak to lightning. Ken has, I think, resurrection abilities. If not, I just need to heal myself. Yeah, that works too. Now I can use the ability thingamajig. Uh, the third G. And everyone will get the benefits.
Maybe you can just steal the spotlight, that's cool too. Okay, so use fire against that one, but not these two. Use ice against those. <laughs> like wins on the table for all. I don't care anymore. Down. I didn't know that she could just cast spells endlessly when she's in uh, her mode. It doesn't even use SP, that's so overpowered. Let's hit him with that fire. to use this but didn't hurt only help Conversations between the party members. for this spell. A little bit lower accuracy, it could inflict distress and 
and build up a higher attack. Oh. It'd be nice if I got a new weapon, too. Um. Oh. I'm back here. Perhaps. After defeating a shadow that guards a given floor, a new pathway through the desert of doors will be open there. I can use the desert of doors to travel between the completed areas. I can't figure it as much. Oh! Oh, that's cool! Isn't that cool, Madden? You know it's cool. Um. Different. Oh, there's a treasure chest. This is actually kind of cool. It's like a like a cyber spy area. I will spy on you. That shadowy figure went. Put her in, I guess. Shadow spotted. Boom! That's the plan. to have uh, healing on one of my personas if I don't already have it. Hi, I didn't even notice that they noticed me. more XP. into this DLC, but... I feel like the song, when you surprise 
surprise enemies in this expansion is a little underwhelming. Like, even to this day, It's Going Down Now is like in the top five Persona songs that I've ever heard. This one I'm already getting a little bit tired of hearing. that ability. If we just get paid, we can like get our old personas back and Make the enemies eat themselves or something. To the next floor. You feel a bit uneasy. I feel like shooting things. I uh, think maybe we should use not wind. Fire. Why 
may not. You're cute, but like, you're sipping a little bit too hard for your sister, and it's kind of weird. Should we go back just to be safe? No. Filthy monster. Picking a like Ikari. Back time. Time to heal my allies. them.
the dead ass floor. Ooh, okay, time to move on. Ooh, a treasure chest. Think so some uh, obstacles can be behind total cover. Yes, we should still fight it. It was eventful and that I woke up late. Icky monster. Oh, here it is. She's on my fall asleep on stream now that I think about it. Progress. Don't get a 
enemy. Looks like you should be home. Frost it kills her circuits. from Persona 4. That's our way forward. Like, a mix between Chie and... Just 
took them all and then... Whoops, I accidentally hit A. I was getting with fire at all of them and then just... Pop off, you know? As I accidentally hit the volume down on my headset. Let's do this! Then we'll shift back to my cell. And then we'll burn the other two. Break on Orpheus would be pretty good. I'm always happy to team up with everyone. Great. So Menace doesn't have a number in her armband, but the others do. Mine is seven, Yukari's is four, Ken is nine. Mission complete. 
plain and shiny all over. Starts with I. Kinda sounds like Siri a little bit. It's an enemy. Do we attack? Four targets caught them off guard. Our chance to attack first. Stop up with everyone. Side of her. Out of context, it sounds really bad. Miss this one. Oh. I did find the rare, the rare shadow there, right? the first goal this place was perfect how many more times we gotta do this i don't know for sure but judging by the desert of doors i'm betting it's not going to be just once or twice well we counted them so i'm gonna take seven oh, i was afraid you'd say that we're looking for the source of our troubles so logically it should be at the deepest level then all we can do is keep going until we reach the end. It's like Tartarus all over again. The two of them do share some similarities. I like the friggin' shadows wandering around. Man, in here I thought we were done with them for good. The lost are all gone now, though. So why are we still dealing with the shadows? Good question. Only way to know is to start looking for an answer. Roll credits. Out of this until we find one anyway. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just through the hell we went through. Finally had some peace. 
told myself I'd focus on the future, and not look back. But now it feels like nothing has changed. I thought we were through with fighting. Yukari. Time doesn't flow normally here, so it's no surprise you feel that way. You'll find that there will be many opportunities to revisit your past here. That really explains a lot. What's that supposed to mean? The answer lies behind door number golden. Alonia Muggle. This is Polonia Mole? But we were just in... What's going on? Did we make it out somehow? I don't know. Something seems off. Also, isn't it kind of hot? You kids. Hi, Officer Kurosawa. Oh, Kurosawa -san. What are you doing out here on a weekday? Shouldn't you be in school? Oh, but it's spring break. Spring break? That was a couple months ago. It's July now. July of last year. And what's with the ghetto? You all headed somewhere? Or... Oh, um, no. We're just, uh... Well, I'll let it slide since you kids are a little... Different. I like that pause. Always turn a blind eye, though. You're up to something. You won't get off scot free. Are we clear? Crystal. Jeez. All the dates displayed here say 2009. That calendar, too. So when he said it's July, did he mean July of last year? Sounds That's like it. That's impossible. Are you saying this is the past? Hey, I guess his sister. It's Metis. Hey, are you listening? Are the things here that interesting to you? N no, not at all. It's all yes. normal everyday stuff, right? This is a fountain, and that over there is a store. Are you secretly, uh, Elizabeth? Well, I come here to gaze at the fountain myself from time to time. R really You do the same? But there is something mysterious about this place. For all of us, not just you. Tell me, what is this place? We got here by passing through a door, remember? Doors like that are located throughout the Abyss of Time. Each of them connected to the past. Then, this really is last year? How else can you explain the different time and season? But it seems you can't just go anywhere in the past. Only somewhere from your memories. I don't think this place connects to anywhere else, either. Seriously? The past? Man. We're lucky to have ended up here. Let's use this time to gather supplies. Whatever we get here should be usable until the abyss of time disappears. Perhaps that's why the door led us here in the first place. That means that we can create armor and weapons at the antique store. We can get um, medical supplies at the pharmacy. And we can get weapons at Kurosawa's. It may have reflected your inner thoughts. That's Pog. Me likey. She seems to be taking this pretty well. It's also mind-boggling to me, though. <sighs> well, on the bright side, at least we won't starve now. And that was how we learned why the Abyss of Time was called as such. It was a place where one could revisit bygone days. But looking back on it now, that wasn't the only thing that astounded us. 
Maybe we all subconsciously sensed some sort of salvation. Cool, so we can go shopping. And nowhere else. you want? Alright then. Hmm? You finished? Hmm? You finished? Come back soon. items as long as I have Zora on the party. Or anyone else with Recarm. I have to say Junpei. I did before. Poor Morrison is current is looking curiously beyond the path. Oh, wow. I didn't think we'd emerge here instead of the Desert of Doors, but I guess it's not completely improbable, since this place seems to be fully connected to the Abyss of Time now. Maybe it was influenced by everyone thinking of making frequent supply trips. In any case, this will certainly make it easier to go back and forth. Hello? The air conditioning is fine. No way. Seriously? For real? <laughs> hey, keep it moving. The rest of us need to get through too. Though he secured a means to acquire supplies, we remain trapped in the dorm. What awaits us further inside the labyrinth? Why can't Mitsuru join us? Hi. I've been waiting for you. Hey, what's up? How embarrassing. Wait, 
Positively discombob- oh, okay. I shall be waiting then. <laughs> She's so awkward. But it looks like now I can uh, accept her cost. Shadows. Perform right. 10 all out attacks. Sorry to get that. Special fusion milestone. I will await a report of success. Persona fusion. Treasure chest. For shadows. Have a serious body with the skill Agalayo in your possession. To think of it. I will await a report of success. Create a persona with my poo poo. Level 30 or above. Need your knuckles and a muscle drink. By all means. Very well. Cool. Well, I think that about does it for this one. It's a work week, or er, it's a weekday, so I can't exactly stay up and play like on Sundays. But I think getting to the first, uh part of the end of the first dungeon is a good stopping point anyway. We'll see if we can clear the next one next week. Thank you all for watching. I'm gonna get some rest and I'll talk to all of you later. Peace out.